Hello everyone, uh, Alan Steelman here, and you're probably thinking right now he is really a man on a mission, and indeed I am. And that mission is to uh, try to communicate that there is a way that does not require all the false wizards that we're all using, many of us anyway, to cope with life in the ASAP lane, the anxious, stressed, addicted, and pressured lane that represents life in the digital age. I'm very honored to have been featured in the Healthy Living magazine this month uh, with an article on this topic, and I would like to uh, share that with you now. And the main hurdle that we have to overcome is that many of us think that, well, no one like me does yoga or meditates. You may be a man who thinks it's not macho enough. You may be a senior who thinks you're too old. You may be a stressed out uh, teen or, or college student who thinks uh, that uh, I'm too busy with other things to worry about that. Or you may be an African American or an Hispanic who thinks that a one like me does yoga. Well, I've got news for you that's, that's wrong. And I want to go over with you now some of the fundamental laws of yoga that I think will make you feel a whole lot better and hopefully we'll persuade you to uh, join us in this uh, very important movement. Thank you. So here are the Ten Commandments. If you can breathe, you can do yoga. It's the breath, it's not those pretzel type contortions that you may have seen in some of the magazines. Number two, do only what you can do. Never go past your limit. Pay no attention to the others in the class and what they're doing. Number three, mindful breathing is the yellow brick road. It's your own path to a calm mind. Number four, the time is always now. Ruminating about regrets from yesterday or worries about tomorrow only keeps that monkey brain of ours busy. So remember the time is always now. Try to live in the present. Number five, make time for health now or be forced to find time for illness later. Number six, your own natural brain chemicals are your wizards. Pills, alcohol, food, shopping are all as false as that Wizard of Oz turned out to be. Number seven, fitness is mind, body, and spirit, not just physical fitness. Number eight, commit to a consistent practice. The monkey brain never takes a break, never sleeps, never takes a vacation. We're all born with a ruminating brain. Number nine, first and foremost, Seek a calm mind and then strength, balance, and flexibility. Yoga is mostly about calming the agitations of the mind. Physical fitness does come, but that's uh, secondary. And finally, you are not your age. Stop the self-talk that invites the old man or the woman to move in by saying, well, I can't do what I used to do and words like that. So you can do yoga. And I hope that you will join this uh, because I believe that you will find that it can truly transform your life.